Warning, warning, warning. It's Mercury retrograde. Hi everybody, it's PJ and it is, I'm gonna have dirt on my face. Oh my God, it's freezing in here and I pulled gloves out and never took them. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to go back in my house Oh my God, and get them. <laughs> oh, it's so cold and my hair is wet and I tried to fix it and look, now it's purple and gray and blonde and pink. Purple and gray and blonde and pink. Oh my God, why is it so fucking cold? So dumb. I had a scarf and gloves sitting out. I should just go get them, but I didn't. Now my hands are gonna hurt, so we're gonna do this this number. Ugh. I died, or I died. <laughs> I did my nails finally. So we have until the twenty eighth. Woo! Look at that. Styling. Do 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 do. Um. So uh, we have until the twenty eighth to uh, be safe from Mercury. Now let me explain something because there is good ways to use Mercury retrograde. Uh, let me explain it first. No planets really go backwards. There's no such thing of a planet in the sky stop, well I don't know, but none in our solar system where they stop their actual progression and turn, start rotating backwards. But what happens is because astrology is by degree, right? So the Earth is going along in its rotation, and Mercury's going along in its rotation. Mercury's faster. And um, so it hits a certain axis where by degree, where the Earth is going, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and then you, you basically, it's the degrees between them that matter. And then Mercury's going, you know, uh, one, uh, you know, five, four, three, two, one. It hits an axis, and because the Earth swings past, it appears by number that this is stationary or going backwards. Do you see what I mean? So it's one, two, three, four, five, and let's say this is at five, four, you know, five, six, seven, eight, and then the Earth swings by. It, it even though it's not actually turning the numbers start pulling away and so that's retrograde that means that all the energy we normally get from mercury which is about communications and um it's about uh, like uh nervous systems and <clears throat> it's all about like how we um connect verbally um, how we connect um, uh, non-verbally, how we connect with letters, writing, poetry, publishing, all that stuff, uh, how we find our way with maps and whatnot. All that is Mercury, right? So when Mercury goes retrograde, the only things you're safe doing are the things you're going to redo because you know how people say things come in threes it's just retrograde comes in threes so let's say you have a nasty this is you on the earth and this is mercury and you have a nasty aspect in of mercury in your chart so as you come in right it's going to hit that it's hitting that aspect so it it goes past and boom there's that aspect that just means the ratio from one to the other which is not like pleasant it's called malefic so um, it hits that aspect that's one right so something negative happens then when it goes retrograde it goes backwards and hits that same number again boom you, there's two and then to finally get out of there it rolls through again boom that's three and then it's finally out of there do you see what I mean so things come in threes okay so mercury mercury retrograde does that so the only thing you're safe doing are the things that begin with re like a redesigning refiling re and so many times it has to do with communication so if you have like legal papers going in um don't be surprised that they get lost stolen or, or misinterpreted because that's what happens it just makes it hard for us to communicate um, and depending on where it sits in your chart, like if it sits in your second house of finances, then that's what's going to get screwed up. If it sits in your fifth house of your love life, then lovers are going to get pissed off. Like, it just depends on where it sits in your chart. 
So, but we can use mercury retrograde in a positive way. And the way we do that is the REs are the things that are going to get done correctly. So instead of starting a diet, restart an old diet. Instead of starting paperwork, restart old paperwork. Instead of filing, you know, your taxes, file last year's taxes and get them fixed. Whatever it is that you need to redo, do it now from the 5th to the 28th. So now, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. Come on, warriors. Do you feel armed? Armed with this information? You should, because Mercury's a fucking blowjob. <laughs> Mercury sucks! And actually, I love the planet. I love what it does in my chart. It's beautiful. It just, it's its trying. It's, it's hard to get stuff done under Mercury, which is why my hair is 16 different colors. Yay, hair dye. So, do you get it? Do you understand now? Do you get it? You're warned. Go out there, find all the little re things you can do. Post them down below. What are you going to redo? Reorganize your closet, redo your taxes, redo, uh, go back. Great for returns. Like if you want to redefine a relationship or re a fire or kindle a marriage, this is when. From the 5th to the 28th, this is when you can do it. Use return spells. I've got some here. I'm sure there's a lot of them out there. Use some return spells because way big in returns. Things come back to you, okay? Things that you might have wanted buried come back to you, let alone things, good things come back to you. So you don't know how it's going to hit, but you can utilize that energy. And the thing about astrology is if you don't use the energy, it, it's coming anyway. If you don't use that energy, you're going to get hit with it no matter what you want to, no matter what. So, Mercury retrogrades hitting down on you like sunbeams on your head. You can't stop that. So, use it in a positive way and you'll have a great time. Well, no, but it'll be better. It'll definitely be better than just allowing it to do stuff to you. So, I love you. If you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit that button down below and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. Thumbs down if you don't. Either way, you're watching me manifest something lovely in your life. If you know it, think it, believe it, you can have it too. Like a beautiful time under Mercury. I don't know beautiful. That's stretching it. Better time under Mercury. Better time under Mercury. I love you guys. Bye.